Hello everybody and welcome! My name is Samir and this is All The Mod 6 to the sky! And as you can see in my hand, today we're gonna get deep into Mahotsukai. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I'll see you in a second. 745 damage. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, as you'll see, Node Mass has changed. I replaced a lot of cobblestone for dirt, which is now grass. And that's better, but uh, it's not the best. And I'm still working on it. Also, I have a new area. We'll be using this today, and you'll see how and why. Actually, I think we're gonna start with this. Yeah, let's have a look at this magic mod. Mahotsukai, it's an amazing mod. I don't remember these being on previous versions of Minecraft, but uh, then again, I'm not really the kind of magic mods guy. That doesn't mean I don't use them, but yeah. Okay, let's start with the book, like so. Then we're gonna probably also craft the dagger, and ha ha ha, look at that. And since we're on it, let's craft a few of these spell cloths. And now let's have a look at this book. If there, if there is anything you don't really understand, have a look at the book. It, it explains everything in an absolutely wonderful way. Uh, so yeah, let's say for example, we're gonna start with a mana. And in order to start with some mana, we're gonna have a look at these Atune diamonds. Which shouldn't be too difficult to make. Uh, I'm just gonna make a few. Let's start with three of them. The way mana works, if you don't really want to read it, uh, basically, it just stores in your character, so the same. You can see on the top left, I have a little bit of mana, and uh, the maximum right now is 101. And depending on how full your hunger is and how often do you sleep in Minecraft, well, you'll gain more or less mana. Now also, because we have this Atun Diamond, if I right-click, everything that was inside gets transferred in here. And we can store up to 10,000 points of mana. Mana points, let's, let's say that, mana points. Now, at the beginning, this is slowly um, painful, and we don't want that. Now, in reality, we would probably want to start with the boundary of drained life. Uh, however, it drains 5 mana from the caster every second. And as you can see, I'm not gaining mana that fast. So, let's think about a way to generate mana early, but simple. What about these? Durability exchange. Place on top of the floor. This will convert the durability of items on top of it into mana. And also we can do this from a chest. It doesn't have a cost, so it's just basically going to be us bleeding. And maximum of 10 mana per second. Okay, I like that. So that is two emerald powders, one diamond powder. Okay, can do. Let's use this chest over here. This is where I have all my... Uh, well, basically all the things with durability that we get from the farm. Now, before I consume any of these, I wanted to show you, because uh, these consumes durability, right? So if we give it an item that it's fully repair, it's gonna drain more mana, right? And since we can fix that with power, well, I could even loop these things so they never break. Right click. Shift V. Hey, and we got it. And can I break you now? Oh yeah, I like that. Let's put the chest right over here. Get all this inside, probably not you. Okay. And then again, it was one emerald. Oh, sorry, one diamond and two emeralds. Now, if you look at my maho, my amount of mana on the top left, it's full. And this is not working. Despite being the correct recipe, what's going on? Your mana is full. You need to. Put all that back into your Atune Diamond. 
And then slowly but surely, this is taking durability damage. And look at our mana, 904. Now you'll see that the maximum is increasing. It's not 101 anymore, it's 103. And that's because these count us using magic. And so, hop, oh, gonna take these and fix you. So for now, look at that. I should just be able to right click every now and then and get a little bit of mana, which should be all right. And I can definitely cycle these things through. <laughs> I hope this works, but if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Let's extract from you, then extract you from you again. These should take items with no durability. And if I just keep on right clicking, my mana keeps on going up. <laughs> so basically, I just need, let's say, three different items in here and that should provide me with enough mana to just keep on doing this. Now this is boring and we don't want to do boring, we want to do something else. I'm going to make a few circles. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll say that's enough. And one more time, we're going to have a look at this boundary of drain life. So, two in each. Emerald, 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 Emerald. Now, the way this works is basically these circles are going to attack anything that is in a 10 block radius. Then, for every health drain, health hunger or mana is restored to the caster, in that order. And it drains 5 mana from the caster every 1 second as we sealed, and that should be alright. Now, even though we have 1,700 mana points in here, that's still nowhere near enough. One of the first things we want to make is our consolidation. The circle, when placed on the floor, we spawn a lake. Yada, yada, yada. Which is going to allow us to get an OP sword. Each growth of the lake costs 30 mana, which is not a lot, but the exchanging, the sword itself, takes 5,000. And ooh, oh boy, that's a lot. At least compared to what we have right now. I've got to admit, I didn't really think this would work, but it totally does. <laughs> you know what, since I'm doing lazy, I think I'm just going to set an auto clicker and set it to a right click every now and then, and I'm going to have lunch. And granted, it's not going to take me too long, but yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Now, I wonder what will happen when the Saturn Diamond is full. It probably won't change to another one, right? Nah. A few inches later. When it's full, it's full. And you need to have the other actual Atun Diamond. Well, that's all right. Um, anyways. Let's go back to our new area, over here. Now, this looks rather strange, and that's perfectly fine for me. If you remember, we went to the nether, just basically so I could get some of these spawners. So, let me show you what we're gonna do with that. Right click with the villager egg. Yep, something like that. Then... Since we have apotheosis in the pack, we can actually improve these spawners, uh, these kind of looking vanilla spawners. And the way we're going to do that is, well, first, I'm going to give this thing a comparator. That way, we can control these with redstone. As you can see, it's disabled now. And so, I'm going to use a redstone receiver from RF Tools. Right click with my transmitter. And for now, that's it. That only means, if I now put these transmitters somewhere in the world, give it a redstone signal, that spawner is going to start working again. Alright, we want to speed it up a little bit. So, for that, you're going to give it a little bit of sugar. If you have any doubts, uh, click R on Spawner, and it will tell you what things you can put and what they do. 
Okay, that's all the sewer we can put in there. Uh, let's also give it some gas tiers. This increases the nearby entity's max, so it can keep on spawning. Some fermented spider eyes. A few clocks. I have a stack and some, and I know there are a lot, but I don't know how many. So a stack and some. And finally, we're gonna give it a nether star, just so it works even if we are not around. And you're starting to hum in quite loud. Anyways, let's turn on our fans. Whoop! <laughs> and they all flew away. Let's turn also this fan on. <laughs> and let's turn this fan on. Oh yeah, they are suffocating. Uh, let's uh, disable you then. <laughs> this might be a bit too much. Oh, and another llama just appeared. Why are you alone? <laughs> yeah, they're kind of suffocating here. I don't think they like defenses. Eh, let's bleed out a little bit. Let's draw a circle. One more time. And just one more time, just for the looks. And let's repeat the boundary of drain life. So it's two iron and an emerald. Now that should be giving us plenty of mana at all times. And you know what? We have so much mana, we better use it, right? Oh, and you're starting to be very, very loud. We're gonna go for power consolidation now, and that requires two diamonds and an emerald. Two diamonds, one emerald, and oh, it's turning first into dirt, then into this kind of cool looking lake. And it seems like my calculations were wrong. And I think that means these didn't properly form, which is a pity. Let's see what happens if I remove these. Mm, yeah, I honestly think it didn't work. So I'm going to do it again, because there is supposed to be a fog in here. And yeah, but it could also be the shaders. I don't know. Two diamonds and an emerald. Well, at least that looks cool. Let's see if this does what it say it does. Uh, an enchanted sword. You. In theory, let me turn off my magnet. If we throw an enchanted sword on this lake and we have at least 5,000 mana, which we do. Gee, we get the sword in the, in the lake. And wow, that looks really cool, but it was much, much bigger in the water. Anyways, this is a very cool looking sword, but this is not what we want. What we want is to turn these Caliburn, I can't find it in a book, but basically we're looking for the Morgan sword. And you can't see the recipe in the JEI, but it should be pretty straightforward. First, with the help... Oh, where are you? With the help of our little wolf, we're going to make it our friend. And we're going to kill it. And I'm going to make a big fuss about it, because you've seen people making these a hundred times already. But yeah, I just killed my best friend. And that's awesome! Now, this sword has 7.2 damage. Well, that's basically because of um, uh, the enchantments. The better enchants that you have on your, on your sword, the more damage you will get. Now, assuming you've seen these already, our damage is 7.6. If I kill villagers, <laughs> the damage goes up. 
But have a look on the top left. Mana is consumed. And what happens if you use it a lot and you don't have any mana? As in right now. <laughs> well, that's not happening because, well, uh, since we have so many villagers, we're producing with this ritual uh, just enough. But trust me, this sword at some point, it's going to break. The durability is kind of bad. So, do you remember last episode when I say, Stella, yay! Well, let's get these uh, some use. And let's also get some specified ores, because why not? And let's use these over here. Stellar Canum, I believe, is the one that explodes. Yep. An expetrified ore doesn't. <laughs> let's get these stellarite piece. Put some expetrified ores all around. And let's get our Stella Arcana. What is it called? Eternal Stella. Yeah. And let's use our smithing table with our Morgan sword and our Eternal Stab and this thingy. Now, the sword is indestructible. As you can see, there is no longer a durability bar. And that means it's, uh, well, never going to break. Now, if you don't have any mana, even if you keep on killing villagers, your damage won't go up. 1008, 108, 10 10.8, 10 10.8. 10 so, yeah, let's see how about fixing that. <gasps> Am I an idiot? This hasn't been working at all. All our mana has been coming from that thing over there. Uh, okay, you need to right click on these things. Well, that explains. Yeah, I was wondering why they weren't dying. Anyways, <laughs> since this thing is now killing them, <laughs> let them die. Yep, definitely a lot better. Oh, look at that. I can now just right hold right click and uh, my mana never really goes down. Ah, so this is the moment where I should have faith K. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 do that right now. <laughs> um gonna go watch something and uh, I'll be right back. Uh, but unlike last time, I'm gonna go somewhere inside because I didn't sleep and I got attacked. And I don't want that happening again. Wait, why do I want to store that much mana? I probably won't just store damage, right? <laughs> I'm going to spend some time not actually AFK trying to improve our damage and our mana situation. So far, 135. Wait, what? That's pretty cool. So if you don't hit them directly, it does this area of, it of effect damage, but it also consumes all your mana. After just a little while, we have 15,000 points of mana. Uh, we can probably do something like this and kill almost everyone. Yep, that's much better. And our damage is a whooping <laughs> 700, um, which is nice for a sword. And remember, this still hasn't been enchanted, properly enchanted, so yeah, that's a lot of fun. So since we have the sword, I have two bows here, I'm breaking three, power four, quick draw two, I'm gonna use this one, don't really think I'm gonna use it, but it's gonna be there, and that's fine. Can I shoot without any arrows? No. But that's all right, because here with this trader, <clears throat> I've been trading and I've got Brace Main Arrows, Blaze Arrows and Lightning Arrows. So uh, the Emerald ones and these ones here, they deal no damage. So yeah, now what do they look like? 
let's uh, throw, well, the fire one is probably just going to be fire. What a surprise. But the lightning one, if I put these on the top left, it should be picked up first. Huh. So it's kind of the same, right? Does it shoot an actual, an actual light bulb? Oh yes, it does. Okay. Um, then I don't really want the fire over here. Nice. We have a bow. We have some OP arrows. How do we get our hands on an end cake? Well, easy enough. I'm just going to need some milk. Okay, let's plant some bait and let's wait it out. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> let's get a few buckets of milk. And we got an end cake. Uh, okay, nice. Where am I going to put this? Let me go think about it. That's how I think. Oh, trampolines. <laughs> Gonna love these things. For now, this is going to sit right here. And that's going to be perfectly fine. This is already looking like a mess. And I need a few more buildings. And until that happens... Oh, our man is full. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is going to be the place. And are we ready? Um, let me make another waystone. That way is going to be much easier to go in back, you know. Uh, anyways, we don't have a lot of health. We don't have a lot of resistances. How do we go? Oh, and that was really fast. And... The sky here is totally broken. Is it because of the shaders? That's a shame. That looks really bad. Ooh, I see you, dragon. Hello. Let me try... With 700 damage, actually. Thinking about it. Do I need to shoot these things? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You calm down. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Um, you know what? Let's redo these. I'm gonna put you down over here. I'm gonna set you to global. That's all right. And we're gonna go back home. Back over here. I'm gonna get a few bottles. Let me get two stacks. And now it's time to go back. I think that was the one, right? Yay. Okay, so let's get some. Ender air. Let's wait for this guy to shoot. The regeneration from Maho Magic. Maho Tsukai. It's kind of amazing. I'm gonna lie. And that was enough. Let's kill this guy. Oh. Oh, that was loud. Did we get any dragon scales from Quark? Yes, we did. Nice. Since we're here, let's also pick you up. Where did you go? Over here. It's, uh, you know, the old tree with the torch. Hop. And there you go. Anything else that we want from here? Probably not. And if we do, we'll come back. And you're annoying, you die. Anyone else? That's what I thought. Well, if you remember last episode, I told you these mob mufflers or these wither mufflers tend to glitch out. And as you can see, this came back from the end and I had to, and I had to do it again. So yeah, well that dragon fight was very underwhelming. Also, the hell are you? Dragon scales. I can make stuff with you. I um, can make an armor. That looks neat. I uh, will look into you later. 
For now, the only thing that I'm really interested in, and I lost track of it already, is these. The Dragon Scale. Um, this is basically the only way you're going to get in Elytra. As I understand, there are no islands on the end. Well, there are, but they're totally empty. So, yeah. Let's do something like this. Something like that. And <laughs> we do have an Elytra. Yay! And since we have an extra dragon scale and they aren't used for anything, we can go ahead and make a copy. And yeah, I'm going to make a copy right now. So we have an Elytra over here. We have another one over here. And why do we want Elytras? Well, we can already fly. Well, the thing is, if you haven't checked the recipes, check this out. Creative wireless transmitter. And it's extremely, extremely cheap. So we're going to need four of those. We're going to need one of these. And haha! -ha, we now have our creative wireless transmitter. Let's replace you with you. And well, <clears throat> basically, while before we didn't have access to our terminal here because of how many boosters we can put, now, oh, we have access to it. But wait, there's more. If we go to the nether, ah, just because that's when I, the first one I clicked, and I access to my terminal. Oh, would you look at that? It also works. <laughs> oh my God, creative recipes in this pack are crazy cheap. Uh, except the ones that require the old the star, the, the old the modern star, whatever it's called. And here we go again. Anyways, we are pretty close to the 30 minute mark. So, having killed the dragon and got our creative wireless point, I think that's going to be enough for today. Also, remember, OP sword, I'm killing you. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know the drill. Same as always. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs>